going to talk about the books which you have to get to the medical university when you come to China. If you are interested, keep on watching. You need to get B.D. Chaurasia Anatomy book and Gray's Anatomy book. Also, you have to get FMG Solution and MCI Screening book. These are the books which I bought and uh, there are so many other books which you can buy. But it's not necessary to take every book together. Uh, anatomy is enough for first years. In first years, we have physics, chemistry and maths. It's not of use, but it's an out of syllabus. Second semester, we had medical chemistry, anatomy, cell bio. So you need to get only anatomy for the first time. Also, don't forget to take FMG solution because it's useful for MCI preparation. Every year, we have two semesters, like first and second semester. In first semester, we had physics, maths and out of syllabus. In second semester, we had anatomy and medical chemistry. So I recommend you to get anatomy. That's enough. I didn't get a lot of books in the first year. I had a lot of other stuffs to buy like food, clothes. So the reason I didn't bring all the books together is because I had only less luggage. So I bought only one or two books. That's more than enough. It doesn't mean you have to get books from India. You can even get books through online from China. As you know, we use WeChat more than WhatsApp, Facebook or Instagram. So uh, you need to install WeChat. Guys, you don't need to buy all the books from India because we can also get books from China. That's through WeChat. You can also order books from WeChat. I will link down the WeChat ID of medical books. If you are interested, you can check in the description below. You can buy from there. So all medical related books online which you can download into your computer or into your tablet i will link in the description below you can also check out my university we have only chinese lecturers in other universities you may find indian lecturers as well as foreign lecturers so it depends upon you where you get admission and i would recommend you to go to the university where they provide you foreign lecturers it would be more easier for you to learn the subjects so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's video if you want to watch more videos please do subscribe in the next in the next video i'll be talking about the things which you have to pack when you come to china also about the foodstuffs and i'll be talking about the scholarship so stay tuned till that assalamu alaikum and bye